Cody Radio host Bill Cunningham says if he hadn't had the valve replacement, he could have been dead by this summer. Fortunately, his wife urged him to go to the doctor, and now he's back on the air. And Jeanette Levy was there for his return to the big one and the message he has for others. Well, Rob, Bill Cunningham says when he was told that he needed a new heart valve, he started researching the places around the country where he should go for surgery. But he found out he would get excellent treatment here at the Christ Hospital. Just eight days after that procedure, he's back to work. All right, Billy Cunningham, the great American, back after eight days on the disabled list. Bill Cunningham be back behind the, the mic at 700 WLW, doing what he does best. Joining me in the studio is the doctor who literally saved my life, Dr. Dean Kiriakis of Christ Hospital. Dr. Kiriakis performed the procedure last Thursday. Cunningham's already back to work because of a minimally invasive procedure called TAVER. And they punched a hole about the size of a number two pencil in my groin. And they, this 18 inch long probe is about as thick as a cigar up into my heart. And uh, within 24 hours of that, I'm having chicken noodle soup at my kitchen table at home, walking around. 20 years ago, the procedure would have required far more downtime. They would have sawed you open and carved your valve out and put a new one in. Kiriakis has been Cunningham's cardiologist for eight years. Cunningham knew he had a bicuspid aortic valve, but he was feeling short of breath and sometimes felt dizzy. So he shows me the echo and my valve's opening an eighth of an inch when it should be an inch. The prognosis was guarded and he needed to do something. This video shows Dr. Kiriakis inserting the valve from a cow using a stent and a catheter. You can see it expand and start to work almost immediately. And he had a uh, spectacular result. But for Penny, I know I would not have gone back to him earlier. I know I wouldn't have done it. Cunningham's grateful to his doctor, who's also become a friend. And now my heart is working a lot easier than it was before. And he's happy to share his story that has a message for anyone who's watching anyone. or listening. This is preventable. So for, for those watching, if you have those symptoms, please don't wait. Go see your GP and get to a doctor. Well, thank you for the life that you've given me, and I'm going to use it well. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Bill Cunningham, 700 WLW. Now, Cunningham says both men and women should go to the doctor if they're feeling short of breath, have tightness in their chest, or feel dizzy. He especially sent this warning to women because heart disease is the number one thing that kills women. Rob? And if it wasn't for women, men wouldn't go to the hospital or the doctor or anything else. You so know true. that. <laughs> Christ Hospital started performing this less invasive procedure in 2011. Since that time, Dr. Kariakis has performed nearly 900 valve replacements. Good news for you. Yeah, Bill. that's good to see.